In Pycrete Peril, Adam and Jamie are testing a World War II myth about a mysterious boat-building substance made from frozen wood pulp and water. Supposedly, Pycrete not only melts slower than ice, it's also stronger than ice. So the guys are putting it through its paces. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out this first test. Oh, that's good. That'll be good. The Pycrete and ice are exposed at room temperature, and the time-lapse cameras take over until three hours later. The regular ice is losing its water a lot faster than the pikery. So there might be something to this myth after all. <laughs> Mon frere. Excellent. Indeed, but although the pikerite may melt slower than ice, is it stronger? All right, next up is uh, shock load. Regular ice. All right, here we go. To find out, the Mythbusters are using a little shock therapy. And three, two, one. <laughs> It's rather brittle, isn't it? It's rather brittle. All right. Pycrete, here it comes. Doesn't it look like a really big granola bar? Yeah, it does, kind of. <laughs> here we go. Pycrete, shock load. And three, two, one. It's a lot less brittle. I mean, it's still somewhat brittle. The Pycrete didn't shatter like the ice, but it did break. And that's given Jamie an idea. I am pretty impressed with this Pycrete stuff, man. I think we could have some fun with this. It's good stuff, but you know what? I think I can improve on it a little bit. By substituting one form of wood pulp for another, Jamie thinks his super Pycrete might just be a match for the shock test. Here comes your uh, newspaper shock load test. And three, two, one. No break. Slam it. All right, here we go. <laughs> I can't break it. And it is confirming the myth once again that Jamie is always right.